good morning students today we shall study the old brown horse a kids poem written by w f homes oliver wendell homes in this poem the poet homes very intellectually discuss about an old horse who is bounded around face around its fins so before study the text details or the poem details i clearly discuss a thematical idea about the poem if you listen attentively or try to understand the thematic idea of this poem when we study the poem details you can easily understand the motivation of the poet and the full meaning of the poem like other poems in this poem the poet homes uses rhyme scheme fens oe pass day oe day go by mind cars blind or half blind all are the poem actually consists of four stanza and all stanzas carries the same pattern same rhyme scheme like stanza 1 the poem the old brown to horse written by w f homes that is oliver wendell homes here the poet tells the tale of an old brown horse old brown horse who is feeling lonely and retiring now fast in his prime he reminisces his better days when he was young he was brave energetic strong and he was proud of his master even to all but now as the he has grown old and stands near the fence and looks over to himself that he was as if exhausted and tired he wants to be speaking to the to those who pass by the field that's to he had his day and to proudst of and now he was just watching to everyone go about doing their jobs and concerned about the horse existence the horse is surrounded by the fence no one care of this no one seems to be bothered about the horse for now they drives to their motor cars no longer needs the services of a horse more so if he is 
old lame and a half blind even to say that the horse is left to fend for himself his coat appears unkept now this is coat his coat appears unkept now whereas once he was well taken care of by a master who was fond of him now that the sands of time had rendered his useless it is very pathetic to the poor horse that his master still choose to drive stay about in a motor car this is to what sudden the poor horse this is why the poor horse becomes very pathetic and sadistic as he had to grown to old and unfit his master was oblivious to his presence he reminisces about stay his pleasant past and the times that he and stay his master spent together once in a while when a considerate person happens to pass by the notice the weary horse resting his head to on his topmost bar of the fence the person takes pity on the horse and speaks a kind word or two soothing the horse's agony the person touches to his mane or saggy coat the horse let out a sigh for he does he doesn't mind this act of kindness just like he doesn't mind the others indifferences again to say the little study of the poem as the reader moves towards the end of the poem the poet owns from the reader to ask the reader to stop for a while if he or she was to happen to pass the field where the old brown horse stands and speaks a few affectionate words the poet still remarks that the horse was once as young and still lovely as the person the horse would love the generous touch of the person's young hand and stood be much grateful for the kind concern shown to a horse who had his day but now he is he has become old cannot stick carry his master both the master and the horse also became old now there is only to remember the past young days the past proud days 
this is the main point of view of this poem this is the thematical idea of this poem now come to the poem directly the text the old brown horse looks over the fence in a very sort of way he seems to be saying to all to who pass well fox i have had my days in this lines the poet means the old brown to horse old brown to horse look over the fence he has become to old and to surrounded by the fence in a tired weary way he seems to be saying the horse actually wants to say to the people who pass by well that's the i have to had my days that once he was young the once the horse was young and he was proud of his master he was strong he was energetic brave also i am simply watching the world go by and to nobody seems to mind as did they are dashing the past in their motor cars a horse to who is lame and to half blind now the people the master actually wants to carry motor cars instead of the old horse because the horse has become very old nobody seems to mind if his young days is praised is appreciated a horse who is lame and half blind but once the horse was full sighted energetic strong but now he has become half blind or lame next come to the point of second para the old brown horse horse has a saggy coat here the saggy coat means this this man saggy coat the horse actually wants to be proud by touching with the saggy coat but once he was young and trim but now he is untrimmed careless dejected but once he was he was young and trim and he used to trot through the woods and lanes with the man who was fond of him once upon a time i mean when the horse was young his master was fond of him but now he is not he does not depend on the horse because of old lame half blind and it makes him feel quite sad when he thinks of the day that used to be and of all the times they had here the poet actually mean his master still rides on a motor car being the horse old the master still decided to carry decided to ride by motor cars 
it makes him feel quite sad to whom the horse the horse has become very sad being the decision by his master by motor car and of and of all the times they had once the master always to carry always to use the old the horse as the horse was very young energetic forceful next sometimes a friendly soul to will stop near the fence a fire that tires to wolds the heart wait a rest to we are leads to on the topmost bar and a friendly word is said standing st- the horse to surrounded by the fence actually wants a rest we are leads to topmost bar a friendly word the word the war, the horse actually wants friendly word that's once the horse was very energetic strong forceful but now he has become old grown old the old brown horse to given gives a little sigh as it feels the kindly touch actually the horse wants a kindly touched on the saggy coat on his body by the young hands of his master even from others also but no one comes to him and prays him that's to once that he was very energetic forceful and brave this is a crime like this is a punishment like this thought made the horse very pathetic and false tear now come to the next of the hand on his mane or his saggy coat and he doesn't the mind so much if it was or if it is if someone by crossing the bar if his master puts his hands to on his body on his saggy coat it sometimes gives him a force actually the horse wants to wants something praiseable some praiseable words by his master or anyone because he wants to forget this crime activities he wants to remember to his past old brave energetic force or proud to buy of his masters so if you pass by the field one day just stops to for a word or two here the poets invokes to from us that when you pass by the fence or when you study the poets actually wants from us from the readers that's to when you pass this just stop to for a word or two with the old to brown to horse who was once young and 
as full stop lights as you next how are you so energetic forceful you will stop and praise it what or two as the full of life as you he will he will love the touch of your soft young hand the horse actually wants his master comes and touched his soft young hand on his body so he will loves to touch love the touch of your soft young hand and i know he will seem to say oh thank you friend for for the kindly thought for a horse to who had had his day this was this was the idea main idea of this poem the horse always wants this praise from his master or from anyone oh thank you friendly for a kindly thought for a horse to who had who has had his day so you have understood the poem the old brown to horse literally if be pleased of this please subscribe and press the bell icon beside in order to get or in order to give energetic and enthusiastic mind thank you to all thanks